welcome to the third part of this series right third video of this series in this we're gonna understand what is stemming and lemmatization consider this whole sentence and here is a word called learning right so this is actually derived from the word learn and have a suffix as ing so this is the this is how the word looks like actually learn plus ing that's how it becomes learning but for machine this does not matter ing gives it a sense in human language but for machine all that it matters is we are trying to say something about learn that's what matters to machine so in this process we will learn how can we treat this or process this kind of you know splitting or you know words this processing is known as you know stemming all right so this is here we have in learning same could be in studies flight growing etc this is called stemming all right now let me take you to the jupyter notebook and over there i'll try to help you understand how you can do this in python so now here we have these words created this words variable list we have this we have this words list created in which we have broken down our two sentences in tokenization in fact we can say that we have tokenized the words now we will try to process these words and do the stemming on this we will also see what are the words where stemming was required okay now let's just try start with this so to start with stemming first we need to import that so for that how can you import that nltk dot you have one module called stem and out of that you need to import porter stemmer all right so this is done because i already have it installed then that's why it is not giving you an error any error otherwise if you're doing it for the first time it might ask you to you know download this particular part you know wordnet nltk dot download wordnet okay it, it might ask you to download that so just download that you don't have to do anything just type this and hit enter it will download it automatically okay so uh, because it is already done in my system so i'm not going to do that now once you are done with importing this successfully the next thing which you need to do is create an object for this right so let's call it porter porter stemmer and this i'm just going to say stemmer just consider that i'm creating a device for it all right now let's call stemmer dot stem and into that let's apply a word called learning learning okay and let's see what happens you see learn is populated same way if you supply running what it does is running uh, because look looks like there is something incorrect I have supplied so it is converting it to rune this is what it finds the nearest closest correct word or whole word rather i can say right uh, then if you want to make this then now you see it is returning run same way uh, let's try to type the name of our channel let's see what happens so it is returning whole because it understand it uh, it is taking it is not finding any close uh, base word right a base close word it is not finding that's why it is taking it as a new word and showing you the whole as a showing you this thing as a whole now let's try to apply the same thing on whole list of these words okay how can we do that for that what we're gonna do is let's create a you know blank list stemmed stemmed let's call it stem and over here i'm going to say for i n you know what we can do is I'll, I'll just take this over here and we have list of words over here print and over here i'm going to say i and let's say this this and then i will do i'll just take this 
and just put over here instead of learn area i'm just going to say this all right so this looks pretty well we can just run this okay here it gives some error what is the error just let's just see this word is actually words right so now let's just try to observe what actually what all are the things which have been changed you see learning has been changed to learn collaborative has been changed to collaborate and then practical has been changed to practical so basis on the basis on how this thing has been built in python basis on that it is finding the for example if you see makes it is it has converted to make right so this is what called the stemming but with stemming there is a problem let's try something stemmer dot stem and if you supply for example you know studied let's supply this you see what is it returning what it is uh, what it is returning okay so this is not giving you any meaning all right or maybe if you say cried so you see it is returning cry cree all right so it is not giving it any sense how can we make it uh, let's say if we have cried we want to make it cry actually how can we make it all right so to fix that we use lemmatizer what lemmatizer does is it also acts like stemming but when it does the stemming right when it removes the suffix or prefixes it finds a meaningful base word for example if you write over here copied right so what it is giving you is copy which doesn't have any uh, meaningful purpose right uh, i mean this doesn't have any specific meaning which you know gives the same purpose for which it is be being used which gives the same sense for which the user want to use this right so what we need is if we are stemming it it should return copy right then it makes more sense okay so how can we do that so for, that is also very simple like i said it's it it can be achieved using lemmatizer okay so how do we use the lemmatization in the same library where we had imported this stemmer the same way we can import one more module which is called word net lemmatizer just import this and the way you created an object for stemmer same way we're gonna create an object for lemmatizer right so here i'm just going to say lem equals to word net lemmatizer and this is done after that what we're gonna do is we will just try using this we will just try this on it okay how can we do that so for that what we're gonna say lemm dot lemmatize and into that let's apply copy it so when we supply copied into it it is writing the co it is writing copied itself because it is not finding the closest you know meaningful word otherwise it will it it will return uh you know uh it, it will return copy c o p y okay let me try another let me try saying this instead of copied let me try saying this copies right i know this is not a correct the uh, spelling but let's try this so when you do this it is finding a closest correct word which gives more meaning to it and that is copy same way if you try studies studies and when you run this it says study right but if you try the same thing over here in uh, stemming what it says is study right doesn't make any sense so same the, that's that's why instead of a stemming we use the lemmatization okay we do the lemmatization of the things right so what i'm going to do next is i'm just going to create a data frame in in which in the first column i would have the original words in the second column i would have the stemmed word and in the third column i'm going to keep the uh, lemmatized words how can i do that so for that uh, i would i would just require to have three lists 
so over here i create i created one blank list and uh, now what i'm going to do is uh, here because i have to store these stems also so what i would do is i would say stem steamed sorry i misspelled it okay let's go with this same spelling let's call it append append inside that i'm just going to put this whole bunch of thing okay put this whole thing okay and now i can comment this and if i print stemmed stem it is giving me the same thing right so one list we are done create we are done with creating the one list next thing which i'm going to do is i will create a limitized list all right so how can we create the limitized list it's it's very simple the same way here we can use this part and let's call it this limitized and here i would say limitized this is the blank list and i will use the same way here to append into it this is done now after this what i need to do is after this i need to put them all in a data frame so for that what i will do is i would say import pandas as pd all right and inside that what i'm going to do is i would say df equals to pd dot pd dot data frame and into that i will just supply i'll zip all these three lists so here first list which i have is words then second list which i have is stemmed steam stem it i don't know how to pronounce it but let's just be with it okay limitized and then here i need to supply a list of columns in which i'm going to keep the column name like original and then here i would say stemmed and then next is limitized all right so this is done and let's just try to print oops it gives us nothing why let me just have a quick look on this why it is giving us nothing so the main reason was uh, I had just not executed this particular patch. So I executed this, then I got this list, and then after that, I got the limitization and everything, right? And now you can see everything we have here in one data frame. So this is how you can do this uh, stemming and limitization of the world. Now let's see you in the, let's catch up in the next video.